Kristen, good to see you. Kyle, hey, Doug. good to see you. Great to see you folks. Thank you for joining us today. You'll notice something different, right? Look at the colors, the festive <laughs> colors, the food on the set and so forth. Happy, healthy holidays from all of us here at Know the Cause to all of you. How do we get started? Green bean, pomegranate. Oh, that this is a good. side dish with walnuts, etc. cetera. And you're amazing. The things you come up with, the food you come up with. Uh, apple fennel salad, we're going to let you taste. Uh, you don't get to taste it, we get to taste it, which is awesome at the end of the show. Carrot pumpkin pecan pie. You know, desserts are an important part of a festive uh, meal and holiday time. And Kyle and I are going to put together a little ice cream. Hey, we're in Hawaii. It might be hot in Hawaii. You can have a little ice cream. So we've got desserts. Uh, main dishes, salads, a good turkey sitting right here, and we are all getting ready to enjoy a festive holiday time with good food and good friends. So good. let's get started on Know the Cause. Happy, healthy holidays. I don't know about your mom, or your mom or your mom. <laughs> but mom had green bean casserole. When I opened the show and talked about the, the uh, cranberry shaped like a can, I'm being serious. <laughs> and by the way, it was all delicious. I don't know how she pulled this off. And did you ever have the uh, jello with the suspended fruit oh, yeah. and yep. some cottage cheese in it? <laughs> I mean, this was Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. You know, this was the yep. holiday at the Kaufman House. And by the way, we all gathered around and said, that is the greatest tasting stuff. In the interim, since I was 10 years old, I've discovered that fungus can contribute to disease. So we now have a phase one diet. So what Kristen and Kyle are gonna help me with is taking mom's green bean casserole <laughs> and turning it into something that will nutrify you and having you stepping away from the table 10 years now going, oh, that was really good. Kristen did a good job. So there's no cream of mushroom soup in uh, there's this? There's a okay. little <laughs> cream of mushroom. <laughs> and that's another thing, right? That's cream right. of mushroom yeah. soup on everything. Um, but yet it will assist you in maintaining good health through the holiday. Remember, we discovered a few years, not we, but science discovered about 70-80% of your immune system is here. So why are we pouring in sugar and alcohol and things like that during a festive time of the year? Right. So this, I've got to tell you, Kelvin, I think, has that captured. This is, oh yeah, smells so good. You can smell the green beans and mm. all of the goodies, the pomegranate. Yes, the problem with pomegranates, of course, is getting them ready. You know, yes. you open a pomegranate <laughs> and uh, away it goes. So this is how the phase one diet started. <laughs> this is phase one friendly water. But what she's gonna do is kind of suspend some of the fiber in the pomegranate. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of show how, what you do with the pomegranate because a lot of people won't make this recipe because yeah. they think, what the heck do you do with the pomegranate? How do you, how do you get the seeds out? Yeah. You just bite um, into it, <laughs> right. Right. like an apple, right? So I'm gonna show just quickly, and I'm not the most graceful person at this, so this is going to be interesting. Kyle do it. But there's two ways to take the, the skin off. You mm -hmm. can either cut it in half, which I might do just for ease, okay. um, but people that are very meticulous and want to just lightly kind of, um, you don't go all the way down, but you kind of okay. just go like that, and you make little... Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, like little wedges. Yeah, little yeah. wedges so that you can pull the... Okay. Skin I'm with right you. The skin off. So, I got but, you. Um, so I'll, I'll try to do this. And you don't have to perfectly <laughs> we get what you're saying yeah. here. A pomegranate, listen, this is kind of a miserable oh, little thick. fruit. It's but thick. I got to tell you, <laughs> the fiber in the pomegranate, it's just full of antioxidants, fiber, all this good stuff. And the seeds, they tell us, actually behave like aspirin, right? Kyle? Yeah, blood thinning capabilities. It's so interesting when you read the studies about heart disease, cancer, even lowering PSA in men. Oh it's a fantastic. Look at what... Okay, I've so, never seen anything so like this. So the trick to not getting splashed and stained with all the red juice <laughs> is to keep it underwater and you just take little pieces um, and then you just kind of with your finger open it up and just... So the seeds all... The seeds fall to the bottom oh, and then the yeah. white fibrous part floats to the top. Um, and it's just a really great easy way. Thanks, Kyle. That's an easy um, sweezy. Yeah, and so then hmm. when you're done, you can just take a strainer and kind mm. of scoop the white... Or better yet, bobbing for pomegranate. It's pretty interesting. Kids... We'll do it have, for hours. Have yeah, you guys seen true. the little device, the rubber device you put over, you cut a pomegranate in half, and it's a little hammer that you hit? 
uh, seen you them know, yet. the pomegranate, and all the seeds fall out and all the white stuff. So it's another way of doing this same thing. Yeah. Somebody brilliant had to invent something because people pick up a <laughs> pomegranate and they won't buy it, even though it's loaded with antioxidants. Unless they can eat it like an apple, yep. and you can't to pomegranate. So we kind of get the mm -hmm. little bit yeah. of effort. You. There you go. So you kind of get the idea, but all the seeds go to the bottom, and then you just strain them out, and so Scoop then you have up. your seeds. Um, but basically, what we have in this dish is we have either hemp oil or olive oil or macadamia nut oil, just a very mild oil, because we're going to make a vinaigrette. The vinegar is the coconut vinegar, oh, yeah. so oh, it's phase yeah. one mm -hmm. friendly. Yeah, yeah. Um, apple cider vinegar you can use as well, but it's a little more mild, so mm -hmm. I really like the mm -hmm. coconut vinegar for this. And then Dijon mustard can be phase one if it's made with apple cider vinegar. Yep, which this one um, is. It is. It's a Whole yep. Foods brand uh, made with apple cider vinegar. What's that, a little pumpkin and at the end? That is a little, <laughs> that is a shallot, and I brought that for that reason is because a lot of people don't know what a shallot is. It's like an onion. You can use onion. You don't have to use a shallot if you can't find it. Um, it's a little more mild, but onion or a shallot. Okay. And then walnuts. Yes. You took some walnuts, roasted them. Gives it some crunch. The toast makes the perfect flavor. I'm yes. telling you, it's got the green beans, it's got the pomegranates in it, it's got yes. the walnuts in it. You mix it together with that dressing, mm -hmm. if you will. And what you end up with is is a non-mom's green bean <laughs> casserole, you know, and it tastes delicious. We'll taste it later on. Thank you, Kristen, for yes. continuing our education. The history of how we came into this diabetes epidemic is really fascinating to me. And after all, if we don't learn from history, we are doomed to repeat it. So let's go back to the 1970s. Big hair, disco, Studio 54. Those were the good old days when it came to food. It was before big agribusiness became what it is today. And in those days, it was generally accepted that fat and protein actually prevented us from overeating simply because these foods actually satisfy our appetite. No one thought twice about deep frying foods or spreading large amounts of butter on vegetables or toast. And red meat was considered an essential part of the diet. And you know what? Fewer Americans were overweight then. Sure, about 13% of the population was overweight, but look at where we are now. One in three Americans, that's 33%. The high protein and good fats belief was eliminated in the blink of an eye by our government and a food manufacturing industry that are mutually dependent on each other for revenue. Now there's an abundance of reduced fill in the blank, low fill in the blank, and non whatever foods that never existed before. Packaged junk food was marketed to seem healthy. Products that shouldn't even be called food. The answer is real simple. Eat real food. I'm Dr. Fred Pescatori for Know the Cause. And continuing the happy, healthy uh, holiday theme, Kyle joins me right now. Kristen's still here. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Apple fennel salad, okay? Oh. We've replaced mom's casserole, yeah. green bean casserole, and now we're going to replace that suspended fruit <laughs> jello thing if you want to. I always love the taste of that. It's delicious. God bless our moms. You, you know, betcha. Just absolutely tremendous. Love food. it all. Kristen is here to teach us a little about this, and you call it the apple fennel yes. salad? Yes, apple mm. fennel salad. It's really easy to make. It's something that you can make a day ahead of time that keeps great. Um, and it's completely phase one if you use all the green apples. Mm -hmm. I like using the red apples too, it just kind of makes it more festive. I love the flavor, <laughs> but you can do either. Um, and then you do a little hemp oil or olive oil. Either one works great. My favorite is the hemp oil. You can do half and half, a little parsley, adds some freshness and some of your apples and then a lemon. And I'm going to show just real quick um, because it has the zest of a lemon and it also has the juice of a lemon. But this is a zester. Let me see that. And you just want to take the top part and this is the antifungal part. So you're just getting, you're not yeah. getting the white part mm, but you're just yeah. kind of getting the yellow part. So, so where the oils are. Where the yeah, oils yeah. are. Yes, yeah. exactly. Be lemony. And that's called zesting. Zesting. Yeah. And there's <laughs> soap. I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> used to be a soap called that. And um, then, and you're going to get the juice too, so that's um, that's delicious. And then I wanted to show this is fennel. If you don't know what fennel is, and it's oh. a vegetable, um, it kind of has a licorice taste. But I have not found anyone that doesn't like this salad. It's just a really great salad. We're, so I'm going to show you how to cut this. So we're going to take the top of this off, and you can use the tops for 
a chicken stock or something like that, you can stick it in the freezer if you want to use that later. But the part that we're going to use is this right here. So we're going to cut it in half, and then we're going to cut it the halves in half. And what we're doing is we're coring it. Mm. So and you there's see so that many. core right there. Oh, Kristen, so, there's so many healthy benefits to these. I mean, yes. this is such a good idea. Thank you. And, and thank it helps you for with teaching digestion. me how to cut So it. it's such yep. a good, exactly. fennel is great for digestion. So while you're eating, um, you know, you can definitely make your holiday completely phase one, but it's, if it's not, it's going to help with your digestion. And then you're just going to, you're just going to cut it really thin and keep those fingers out of the way. Um, so it's not as intimidating as it looks. It's super easy. So I just wanted to show that. I've so always used the fennel oil and the fennel seeds, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I've never actually used the the real the fennel. Actual. So this is an education for me. Yeah, and it's you know I didn't even know what it looked like. I when I read the <laughs> recipe, you know, years ago, I thought, oh, no, I need to. <laughs> There's <laughs> a fennel. Love this. Do you yes. chop it up, dice it up, then? And I did. Well, I just kind of keep it like this. You can make it smaller if you want. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, make it your own recipe. Um, so then you just kind of toss it all together. And I do love um, my gadgets. I know I'm always bringing my gadgets on. <laughs> so I just show for, for the holidays when you're doing tons of onions and apples and things like that, yep. um, this is a really cool thing. This brand, it's Sharper Image, but they have the alligator chopper. And I so you can see that. You just stick it in there and you... Boom. And there you go. Push it That's down, it. and then you've got your diced apples. And so, That's so I easy. love, yeah, it makes it quick and easy. And as I said, you can make it ahead of time. I she is. We could do it. Oh, no, we couldn't do that. <laughs> she is the gadget gal. I know. Now, you've had carrot cake. You've had pecan pie. You've had uh, other kinds of pie. But what if you had carrot, pumpkin, pecan pie? Because Kristen did this for us. Let's walk over and I smell like that it. salad. I think that's going to be delicious. <laughs> I found uh, Doug when he first came on the program here in, in Dallas area, and I had just gotten out of the hospital with the triple bypass. And at that time, I weighed 330 pounds, and I uh, was watching him and found out also I was diabetic at the time and started going on his phase one diet. I even ordered the book, weight loss book, and so on. And with, by, this was in May, and by November, I had lost uh, 60 pounds and was no longer considered diabetic by my doctor. My glucose level went from 360 to 99 on average per day. And it's, I'm now completely off of uh, uh, diabetic medicine, and I am no longer taking high blood pressure medicine. I would say I, I actually two weeks from the time that I started watching Doug and, and really became convinced, and that's when I ordered the book, the weight loss book, and going and finding out what the true phase one was. I probably, for the first two or three weeks, I didn't feel a whole lot different. It was, in fact, uh, at times, the Herzheimer that we've talked about before, the heart back today, uh, went into effect, and I just felt really terrible. But it was it, within another uh, three or four days, it just seemed like that it was a veil was over taken off my face, and I was breathing better. My wife said my color was coming better, and five six months, uh, people kept saying, "says Well, what are you doing? You just look so great, and so on." I said, "Well, if I know if, I, if this made me look better, I would have done it a long time ago." And I just uh, just feel like a, a whole new person, and I hope to lose another 60 pounds, and just uh, I would all have done. Happy, healthy holiday to each and every one of you. The happy holiday is good. The healthy is the difficult part during the holiday season, unless you're Kristen. Thank goodness. Kristen puts things together. Folks, we have what I thought was pumpkin pie. <laughs> Mom used to make pecan pie and pumpkin pie. Look at that. Uh, this isn't pumpkin at all, although it smells like pumpkin. Do you smell that, Kyle? Good heavens. Can you believe that? This what is this is, is carrot pie and some other goodies. So Kristen, I'm gonna let you run with this. It has the texture of a cheesecake, has the smell of a pumpkin pie, but it's really carrot pecan pie. Yes. <laughs> How did you do this? <laughs> 
So the pie itself actually is completely phase one. There's no sugar or anything in, in it. I just used um, some stevia. I used the Cal brand organic, which does not have maltodextrin in it, Good. and a little xylitol, mm -hmm. just a little. Um, and you can actually leave that out and just do all stevia if, if you don't okay. want to do the xylitol. Mm -hmm. Now the topping, the pecan topping, does have just a fourth a cup of either coconut sugar, well it has the coconut sugar and a little raw honey, two teaspoons of raw honey, or you can use the coconut nectar. Mm. Now these, the honey and the coconut sugar is sugar, it's not phase one friendly, so if you're wanting to stick completely phase one, um, you can yeah. either omit the topping, which would, uh, I did try the topping with xylitol and it, it didn't work as well. So okay, really? Yeah, I really the honey liked, or the coconut. Yeah, sugar. and you're gonna have dessert in the holidays. I mean, there's a fourth of a cup in the whole entire pie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you're not, not gonna be too bad, yeah. You're You'll get Uncle Harry to eat it, <laughs> right? right? Because that's if right. you tell him you got a delicious carrot pie. And that's why I call it pumpkin out. pie, so no one will right. ever know they're eating carrots. <laughs> right. And I've been eating this for breakfast for weeks, <laughs> testing it, so it's Faux pumpkin pie, yes, exactly, faux pumpkin. Pumpkin. And what makes it actually taste like pumpkin is just the spices. Okay. And so what and I wanted to say you want to get the fresh get fresh spices, you know, if they've sat in your cupboard for 2 or 3 years, you're not going to have the flavor that you want. Mm. So what I do is when I buy my spices and I open oh. them, I put the date. So I opened it in October 2014. And then I know next year when I go to start my holiday baking um, that I need to get fresh. Spices idea. have medicinal properties. No doubt. We'll just stop there, but I'm telling you, you're making a very healthy uh, dessert here. It's powerful. Yes. Okay. Um, there's a little vanilla extract, of course, the pecans. Now, the pecans, I got the chopped pecans, but you want to chop, chop them up very fine mm -hmm. um, because it gives it a better flavor, actually, because the, the sugar will coat all of the pecans. There's, there's so no really, crust here, is there? There's no crust. So what we have, I used um, buckwheat, and no. I actually took the whole seed buckwheat and grinded it in my Vitamix or Blendtec um, and made a flour, buckwheat flour. You can buy buckwheat flour, but it's a little harder to find. Mm -hmm. So I get the whole seed buckwheat and I will, um, as I said, grind it myself mm -hmm. and then keep it in the freezer and it's good for other things as well. But the buckwheat flour actually settles into the pie mm. and it makes a natural crust. You want to protect the crust after about 30 minutes, you will put this onto the pie to help it from um, burning mm -hmm. uh, because it's very thin. But um, how long do you bake it? So it's for an hour, but I do 30 minutes um, uncovered, completely uncovered, and you do the nut topping at the very end, the last 10 minutes. So 30 minutes, then you do another 20 minutes covered, and then you add the nut topping for the pat the last 10 minutes and it's all done. Now, can I just ask, because the texture looks mm. incredible, we're about to taste it uh, a little bit later, yeah, look and, at but how do you turn this yes. into a texture like this? That so, doesn't seem right. Um, no, it doesn't, <laughs> does it? So you just, you peel the carrots, you, you steam them, and then you, you puree them with a little coconut milk. Oh, so steam them first, so, that softens them up. Yes, Okay. thanks for clarifying I that. Love it's that. not just, not raw carrots. <laughs> just these horrible, <laughs> yes. it just wouldn't taste the same. Yes, so it actually is, yes, um, slightly steamed carrots. Okay. And then I'm throwing all of this in a blender. Mm. Like I put okay. it in my Vitamix, that was my favorite texture in, mm -hmm. the, in the high powered blenders. You can use a food processor. Um, which works well too, but I really like the texture the best when it really got gets it nice and yeah. creamy. I guess creamy, oh, velvety. Yes. And Kyle, I noticed the turkey. Do you add turkey to the pie <laughs> when you? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, it all goes. That's kind of the main staple there of the diet, uh, especially for this time of year, is turkey or roast beef or something like that. And then you add the accoutrements. Uh, you saw the salad. You saw the mm. the side dish, and now one of the desserts. I did want to mention, sorry, um, mm -hmm. I have a an oven timer, which is really important um, because a lot of ovens cook at different temperatures. Mine, I have to set at 315 and it goes up to 350. <laughs> so it's very off. So an oven timer will help you get a perfect holiday baking I love it. Pie. We have more desserts, raspberry oh, no. ice cream, and then a dip, a seasonal dip, an herb dip coming your way when we get back from this break. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Okay, the brilliance of my producer, John, 
ended up yielding this segment. We only have four <laughs> minutes, and Kyle and I are now going to honor Kristen, oh, who boy. does all the cooking, by making her an herb dip. Okay. And then we're going to make her some ice cream. Yum. Phase one, ice cream. So I don't know how this thing works, but we're going to figure it out. So Kyle, you go ahead and start. Kristen, you relax, because Kyle and I are going to put this together the way real men should. All right, by looking off of a recipe card, oh, oh, I hope. Oh, so let's take a look Thanks, at that. Uh, starting off Thanks. with, uh, what is this, about a cup of sour cream? No, 1C sour cream. Okay, 1C one C, <laughs> one CC from the hospital days, right? And then one little tea lemon zest. Uh, that is zest. It oh. looks like a teaspoon of the lemon zest. And then a little tea good. lemon and juice. Okay, I'm going to have to juice this bad boy. See, and I thought we were bad. Look Ruth right now would be saying, <laughs> get, I thought we had a deal, get out of the, okay. oh, it might have yeah, been yeah. a teaspoon and a quarter. Okay, we'll call now, it a that. Big a big tea chopped chicken. I <laughs> chopped chives. chives, I'm sorry. All right, <laughs> got it. <laughs> <laughs> in the dip with, okay, then a big tea chopped flat leaf parsley. That's a tablespoon. One got big it. tea chopped dill. Oh, here we go. You're not using a spoon. How do you know how much I, I just, I can sense it. One <laughs> half little tea Dijon mustard. Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's do that. Here is, what is it, a half Do we a put this in the blender? No, I think that we just do it ourselves. Man, Kristen should be doing this. <laughs> how is she not in, oh, God. <laughs> Okay, one. That's okay. enough. One that's half right. tea. That's right. That's right. That's right. And now Anymore? one, one half tea soap. Soap. Salt. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> it would oh taste good. Kristen, Kristen, we're gonna have you taste this. We're yeah, done. I can't wait. Yeah. And then one, one little tea. One half little tea. Fresh ground peppers. Here we go. Mix all ingredients. Right. Refrigerate for 15 minutes. Ooh, we can't do that. Uh, and serve with vegetables. Okay, okay, so mix her up. All right. Here I go. Scotty, beam me up. Just like the cooking shows. That's right. right. <laughs> okay. A dash of salt. Okay, now right. stir it. Let's do it. That doesn't look It's going to be good. good. It's going to be it really is? good. Do you know is this, it? Kristen? No, I Were don't. You Are you It smells awesome, though. Let me smell and it. And I love good. dips. This is about a this is about a tea. A tea. <laughs> a tea. A tea. Pate. All right. Okay, so you stir it all up. Now, yep. you would put it in the refrigerator, and you're not giving me much time to make this ice cream. Okay. You would put it in the refrigerator it. for 15 minutes. Let Kristen have a carrot. All right, stick here and try it. Oh, she is I'm, our test monkey. Yes, okay. Kristen, just you guys are please, so good to me. Thank please you. tell us it's good so we can move on. It needs a little more salt. It actually is good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good okay. Good now, job, guys. Well, now here's what we're going to do. Just to say a few words about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is called raspberry organic, high in antioxidants. <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. I'm sorry. Elagic acid. How much? How much it, do I put in? Uh, Frozen. Like the whole thing, but I don't think it's going to fit. Frozen organic. Yeah. We need to open this, don't we? And what are you opening it with? Th this is the coconut mm. oil. This is called your? Church key. <laughs> that is the church uh, key. All right. An old opener. Oh, it's look, I got more on my clothes than in here. Ooh. So here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Kristen, you're going to like this, believe me. It looks delicious. It's all <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> ah, look at Wait, this. we got, got paper a towel towels. for you. Here we go. <laughs> How much time? 25 seconds. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hurry. Put, put about a quarter. Not like yay, quarter of that. And then he said four or five Six. drops to taste. Oh! oh. And then you put the top it's on. Over. It's over. <laughs> You're gonna taste Whoa! How do you shut it off? There we go. Kristen, I give, oh. Wow, we didn't go over this in the rule book. <laughs> what is that? The, here, come over here. You're making me test this. Here. here. Without a spoon? Here, use your, use your little finger. Try this. I will use, use, I'll use the measuring spoon. Okay. Right. It's really good. Really sweet. I mean. it's, it's actually perfect. <laughs> and I'm not lying. <laughs> nice going. We did. Even a we guy can do it. We can cook for Kristen. See, this is simple. Happy, healthy, super sugary. Holiday. <laughs> Actually, exercise may be one of the best moves you can make if you have heart disease. While blood vessels carry blood throughout the body, capillaries drop off the collected blood at the muscles and lungs. 
As you exercise, your blood vessels expand to allow passage of greater than normal volume of blood, which causes your body to build new capillaries over time. So more oxygen can then be delivered to your working muscles, eventually allowing for your heart to not have to work so hard during the exercise itself. Another response from the exertion is the production of enzymes that help move low-density lipoprotein, which is the cholesterol linked to heart disease, from the blood to the liver, where it is then converted into bile or excreted by the body. So the more you exercise, the more bad cholesterol your body actually expels. We pray. Amen. Okay, so right. who's the boss at this table, right? right. Now, what we're going to do is sample each of these. By the way, happy healthy holidays. The healthy comes from the diet that you can eat during the holidays. Um, well, let's start the way they were presented today. Let's start with the bean casserole. Yes. No, no, not the bean the bean, casserole. Not the bean casserole. <laughs> okay. The beans and pomegranate and walnuts. Okay, walnuts. here's why I love it. I have a favorite restaurant in Austin, Texas mm. that prepares food like this. When you chew the pomegranate with the bean, you get to the palate, the, the, the taste is amazing. Mm. That's good. Thanks. I like the dressing that's on it. Yeah, it's a tangy, plus, so it's a little sweet, and you get the yeah. crunch. Yeah. yeah, I like the... Mm. And this uh, salad, the fennel apple salad. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we give her on the first one, the beans? I'll give her an A. <laughs> I do too. It's only because I'm thinking about that pumpkin pie. Mm. So it has a really different taste, doesn't mm. it? It's sweet, but it gets a little tang from the oh, lemon. Wow. Mm. That is so different. Isn't it? It's really different. The anything good. I've ever had, that is good. Now the part Kyle wanted. What? We're going to try this non-pumpkin carrot pie. Yes. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> oh my god. Home run. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. Let's just stay on the pie for a while. <laughs> and thank oh. you for joining us. Guys. Oh my lord. <laughs> As we exit. That's now, unbelievable. Thank let's you. enter honestly into the realm of Kyle and I in the kitchen. <laughs> Kaylin and Ruth don't. would be laughing so hard right now. <laughs> but Kyle mixed up a dip that I had to read him because he did not memorize his notes. <laughs> That's right. Um, let's see. You got to taste it already. I did. Right? All right. Yep. You guys will be impressed. You, you did go. really well. Really? Yeah. It was good. Right. This I'm about to be impressed with me. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot that you need something to <laughs> actually dip into the dip. <laughs> Thank there you. Go. Yeah, I cheated while that ad was on the okay, last Okay, I like that. Isn't that good? You really can't mess a dip like this mm. up. A solid C. Should we end it today? It's not as good as the pie. With the ice cream. <laughs> a little too sweet. I put a little bit too much sugar in that. <laughs> you really um, gave it a squirt. <laughs> but I, it I like was it. my <laughs> first effort in the kitchen, and I think it came out okay. God bless you guys. Thank you thank for all you. you do for this show and for all you do thank you, for God. the show. And thank you for tuning in every day. We hope you have a happy, healthy holiday. Mm. More pie. Mm.